Mr. Brian Cranston, congratulations on another fantastic performance in playing Howard Wakefield. Uh, I felt like this role was truly written for you, sir, and uh, it was so awesome to watch you play this, this amazing, amazing, interesting role. Robin, do you agree? <laughs> I mean, it is as if film. it was written for him, yes. <laughs> yeah. At the casting level, for sure, I felt he would be perfect. Oh, yeah. Brian, watching your character from a very successful, normal guy to like descending, living like an, like an animal was fascinating to watch. Can you talk and share with our viewers about the process of preparing for this role? Well, all of those things that you mentioned are in the script and, and many, many more. Mm -hmm. the, the, the subtle and nuanced changes that he goes through even when I read the script first, objectively, and I saw those too, they, they were unattractive qualities. They were selfish qualities. They were, weren't very mature at times. There were all kinds of things that, if I was looking for a character that makes me look good and become heroic, this was not the piece <laughs> to look for. This is more of an exposure of a human being of appealing back the layers so that an audience goes, oh, you think you know him? Well, what about this? And you, you keep peeling back until you find him figuratively and, and literally naked. And then you ask the audience again, what do you think of him now? What do you think, you know, I, it's, it's a challenge. And, but the, the thing that was, evident in the, in the screenplay from the beginning is a layer of verisimilitude that felt real and honest and authentic. And that's what, that's what eventually got me to want to do this, is that at first you have, oh, well, I, don't, I don't know, you know, you kind of react to it. And at, upon second reading for me, I'm starting now to let that go away, and then you start to invest. As an actor, you start to say, I'm starting to now pull this person into me and take ownership of that character. And all of the things that may appear to be Right, negative. warts and all, yeah. warts and all, warts you and know. All. It's, a, it's a kind of embrace of him. Because he's not that different from any of us. It's just a matter of degree. Yeah. We've all felt the things that he's feeling. Right but he's acting on them in a certain way. And right. so then you have to say, well, where does that willingness to take those steps come from? And we slowly begin to understand. Oh, yeah. The first call would be to my office. No, he hasn't come in. Hmm. No, oh, yesterday evening, well, no, he didn't say anything. Mm hmm we left around the usual time. Oh, yes, of course I will. Bye-bye. So would you consider that that he's quite brave because he's acting on it? Most of us would just like be too scared to act on it. Boy, we'll, we'll be just too afraid because yeah. we don't want to face the reality of failures or, or whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's so interesting because if you take an action that Howard Wakefield takes and, and someone could look at the action and go, well, that's very brave of him to do it. Mm -hmm. Others can look at it and go, wow, how selfish of him to take that action, mm -hmm. you know? So it's the one action, but everybody's point of view is accepted. And that's mm -hmm. what I think is so brilliant about the screenplay. And hopefully what will resonate with the movie mm -hmm. is that audiences will, will allow for a multitude of reaction to it. Mm -hmm. And no one's wrong. Mm -hmm. 
whatever the audience is feeling is correct. Mm -hmm. That's what we're saying to you. It's like, how do you feel about Howard Wakefield? You're right. Perceptions, mm -hmm. different That's perceptions. your perception. Right. Yes. And, and every audience member comes in there with their own history, mm -hmm. their own set of moral mm -hmm. values, and their own, and they're going to feel differently depending on how Absolutely. it comes out. <laughs> and also depending on how, how many times they see it. One of the interesting things um, I found is I talked recently to someone who had now seen the film, just coincidentally, about four times in different screenings. Oh. And they said, every time I see this film, I see something in it that I didn't see before. Mm. And every time I watch Brian's performance, I feel that I know him better and better. So if your audience can watch the film yeah. four, four times, times, we'd you... really appreciate it. <laughs> we really would, appreciate it. Or even five times. times. Yeah. Eventually, they'll be able to. <laughs> Brian, you, of course, have deep experience in playing eccentric characters. How would you rank Howard Wakefield on your list? In terms of eccentricity, <laughs> he's pretty. He's pretty up there. Um, I, I I like um, I like characters like that. They're they're fascinating complex, to me. Right? Complex yeah. characters and and um, multifaceted hmm. and uh, complicated. Uh, I I don't know that I ever give it. You know any any. Value. I do have an evaluation of how I select projects, yeah. but that's for selection process only. And once I'm in, then I I take ownership of that. It's impossible to rank, work, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Which one's your favorite child? Come on, yeah, exactly. Honestly. That's what it is. You know, if you're not in the room, you can tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Depend on the mood of the day, right? Yeah. Today you feel like you like this character, and next month you like the other one that you like. So I don't know. Yeah. Possibly. Um, I don't know. I just think it, that our lives are so reciprocal that I don't really, I, and, and they're ephemeral. So I don't want to hold on to something. I want to l live through it and have that experience and it goes and comes. Mm -hmm. This is a fun time for us because we made this movie a year ago. Wow. Mm -hmm. I think, right? Yeah, so, we finished... Yeah. Uh, well, I was doing color timing exactly a year ago. Okay. So, yeah. So, and it kind of left, and now we're reintroduced to it in this period when we're presenting it to the public. And so we get to kind of relive it again. It's like, oh, I remember. Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> and then we have to live through the experience and, and, and let then, it, and let it let be it where it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Every kind of experience, the coldness and the starvation phase and everything else. What right? was so funny, really, though, is that it was so hard to shoot it that actually he was kind of starving because he was <laughs> losing weight the entire time. I and he that. was really cold because he's yeah. in the water, you know. So there, there was a way that these, you know, having to compress yeah. our shooting into 20 days. No acting. Everybody was really <laughs> strung out all the time. You were like, you ready to go, Brian? Yeah, I'm yeah. ready. <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> yeah. I know just how he feels right now. 